Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here and it's time for another shave video. I'm going to be trying two new items from uh, the folks at Tatara Razors and they are out of Porto, Portugal. And what we have here is the Massimune brush made in collaboration with uh, Samoog. It's a boar brush and the Massimune three-piece razor. And I guess Massimune is the name of a, was the name of a famous swordsmith or a, uh, they used to make samurai swords in ancient Japan. And Tatara uh, comes from the foundry or the forge that they used to make those uh, famous uh, samurai swords made out of that finest steel. And all of these are made in Portugal. I'm actually gonna do a quick unboxing so you can see what it looks like. And then we're going to get back and get this shave ready. All right. Well, here we have the box that came from Portugal from Tatara Razors. So let's see what we got. Here we go. Got this. And we've got this. Set this off to the side. I'm usually in the living room doing these unboxings, but... Uh, my wife and daughter have uh, taken over that for some teleconference this morning. So, let's look at the brush first. I like the little extra effort that they've put into this, having sealed with wax. That's why uh, I didn't want to open this up in the shaved in. So let's see. We'll break the seal. Very nice, got some cork there. Nice, nice packaging for sure. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. This comes to us uh, from Tatara, but in conjunction with their neighbors in Portugal, Samog and you know that Samog uh, makes some really good boar and badger brushes. You've seen me use many of them. So this was a collaboration with the good folks at Samog. So this is the Massimune boar brush. And I'm probably going to butcher that name. But uh, Massimune is the name of a famous sword maker from ancient Japan who used to make samurai swords, if I'm correct. I've looked that up myself. And uh, uh, Tatara is the name of the forge that they actually used to use uh, in ancient Japan, making those samurai swords. So this is CNC machined AISI 303 high-grade stainless steel. It's very heavy. It's got a really nice handle. It's entirely built. Oh, there goes the dog. The guy always wants to steal the shot. But uh, this is made in Portugal. And like I said, a collaboration with Samog. So the Massimune Boar Brush. Very nice. Now let's look at the razor. Also very well wrapped. out of the way there. So here we go. Again, very nice cork. <laughs> there, <laughs> made it easier for me. Whoa. So this is the Mass Immune Razor. And this is also made from uh, CNC machined AISI 303 high grade stainless. So what do we have here? A razor for a lifetime. A little bit of instructions. Again, all made in Portugal. 
very nice. Got a nice heavy feel to it. They have different heads. They have open comb, closed comb, or combo. And I like the mild razors, so I always, uh, I always prefer if I order to go with a closed comb. Wow, very nice. Wow. See, this is very little play on this. Very well machined threads. Very heavy handle. There we go. And there is the locking system of this three-piece razor. All right. So let's get back into the shave den, and we're going to give these a whirl. They came in really nice boxes. All right, so this is a bore brush. Uh, hasn't been used before, so it may, right now, it doesn't smell like a a wet animal, but uh, sometimes it can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the brush, too much water, still too much water. I'm gonna put the brush in here in the crystal skull to soak it as we are getting ready. I'm gonna use some favorite products in this video, uh, the shave cream, the pre-shave and the blades, uh, because I'm really here to look at the uh, razor and the brush and see how it performs. So what I'm gonna use is uh, some Pro Rosso pre-shave green, Pro Rosso green shave soap, and Pro Rosso aftershave. I'm very familiar with them, and again, it's to try out the brush and the razor, not necessarily the soaps, because you've seen me use these soaps. All right, so I have my Wilkinson Sword Gillette made in India. I'm going to load that blade right now. As you saw in the unboxing, this is a very nice, and you can tell it was a very precision-made uh, instrument. And it's not an entry-level razor. Uh, they are a little bit on the spendy side. These are for the people who uh, have mastered wet shaving or who uh, feel like they only want one brush, one uh, razor for their collection, and they want to use these. Uh, if you're just starting out, uh, I would recommend uh, you can go straight to these, but uh, you might look at the cost and be shocked, you know. So just like if you're going straight to a Rockwell 6S or something, you're going you're gonna to be a little shocked at the price. So usually people start out with a little lesser razors, uh, a little less expensive. They really find out if they enjoy wet shaving or not. And then they go on to some uh, classic uh, higher-end pieces that they're going to just keep forever. All right. So this is a three-piece razor, as I showed you in the previous video. It's got a nice locking mechanism. We're going to take the uh, Wilkinson Sword Blade. We're going to put it right into the head. As you can see, it locks in very well with those slots. We're going to get the uh, blade all locked in there. Locks up very tight. Tiny bit of overhang, which I like because I like holding on to the blade uh, when I'm taking it in and out of the razor. I like a little bit of the blade to hang on to so I actually make sure I don't slip or cut myself. Now what I've done off camera is I do with all new razors or used razors when I buy them. I uh, soak them in barbicide. And then when I'm done with that, you can see it's still a little wet. When I'm done with that, I actually soak them in a little bit of alcohol. And I've got the, the antiseptic alcohol for hands because of this COVID-19. I also uh, soak it a little bit in that. All right. Now I'm going to go on record right now and saying I had been to the dermatologist and they have burnt some precancerous, uh, uh, whatever, pre-cancer. They've uh, froze it with their uh, nitrogen gun uh, or liquid nitrogen. And I've got some here. I've got one right here, but most of the others are off my beard. So if I cut myself in one of those, uh, they're healing now. But if I pull off one of those, uh, one of those blisters that have been healing, uh, that's that. So I'm going to say that, that I'm expecting to do that today in the shade. All right. That's why I'm using a little bit of the pre-shave soap today to help reduce that. 
And plus, I've got some pretty good growth. I haven't shaved since uh, last Thursday. It's uh, Monday evening right now. So, you know, I've got three days worth of growth here. Love this, love the scent. And I got pre-shave in my ear. That is a first. Pre-shave really helps. A lot of people saying they're getting irritation, they're getting cuts. What should I do? And I always say, hey, have you tried pre-shave? Because it, it, it helps me. I don't know if it's gonna help you, but it helps me. All right. Right away, my hands are soaking wet. See, and I can grip this very well. And I'm lathering this up in the tub. Actually, this little lip here is helping me push down. See, this little lip is giving me some leverage to push down on that bore. And pleasantly surprised that it doesn't smell like wet animal. The most criticism I get on my videos is from the lathering I do. A lot of people say they want us to lather it for 10 minutes and get the thickest foam, the whipped cream they can possibly get. I find that uh, I do what works for me. Everybody's a little different. All I know is this is lathering very well. A boar seems to lather because it's a lot stiffer. It's got more backbone, it appears, than a badger. Oh, look at that. Again, I'm liking this lip here extremely well. I'm not going to shave down here. I'm not going to hit that cut. That's going to really make me bleed. So I'm going to kind of keep it above this line or try to. I like that this is sandblasted. Uh, it's not as slick as uh, it would be if it were polished. Just telling you my thoughts. All right. Now the razor, my hands are wet, see? I can grip this very well. So that's a good sign. Here we go. This might be milder, but it's not mild. I'm feeling it taking down those whiskers, that growth. Very quick. which is a lot better than I can get with my Mercure 34C. Very nice. So far, so good. You can hear the razor singing. You know, you can hear the blade. It's like a, well, you maybe can't hear it. You might hear the feedback, but I can hear the, the blade almost like ping. Whiskers ending up in that bowl. Hear it? I like that sound. I am definitely putting this razor to the test with this, this much growth. If this closed comb shaves as efficiently as it is, that open comb must be amazing. Mm. 
I guess the three owners of the company were mechanical engineers. I'm a civil engineer. So I know those guys. I can build roads, houses, bridges. Those guys can build equipment. Rockets, missiles, razors. See, I don't want to do it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shave off that blister. All right. It's a lot. This brush is holding a lot of soap. Oh, much better now. Nice and smooth. Another one of the frequently asked comments is, "Why don't you do a three-pass shave?" If I can get it next to perfect on two passes, why would I want to risk cutting myself on a three pass? Unless you'd like to. Now this video is going to run long. Man, that is a lather hog. And again, my hands are covered with soap and it's easy to grip. So that's another plus. All right. Pass two. And I have some burns right here, so I'm gonna kinda go a little lower than that. Can you hear that feedback? And as usual, I think I'm late to the party on reviewing these, uh, this razor. I was told that I might be one of the first to review the bore brush. And uh, I definitely liked it. So there's a lot of other reviews out there besides mine if you want to take a look. Ah, that's the spot I always get me lately. Should have had that dermatologist take that off for me. Now I gotta wait three months to see her again. It's funny when you go to the dermatologist now, it's a lady dermatologist, but they, they, if they're checking your whole body, uh, they, they leave your underwear on. But uh, they need a witness in there uh, to make sure in case you say, hey, I was harassed or well, for whatever reason. But uh, so I got these two young ladies, <laughs> I'm standing there and they're, and they did find some stuff on my tattoo once that I would not have known about. It was hidden in, under the England tattoo. And it was, uh, it was, it had to be cut out. So uh, having English skin and living in the United States with all this sun, uh, you know, you got to kind of put a lot of sunblock on, that is for sure. I see it. Still in the ear. Hey, that's my trademark, man, for getting soap in my ear. I am feeling the burn. Good. I didn't cut that. See, that would have just been bleeding good. And then I would have probably had a scar. Like that scar. Mm, I missed that for the last three days. There's the burn. Well, there you have it. One little cut. Absolutely close to BBS shave. I had no issues with them. They worked very good for me. So, well, it's up to you guys. You can take a look. I've got links to uh, their uh, company inside the description of this video. And uh, I'm very happy. Two thumbs up.
All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay safe out there, okay? Uh, they're having a resurgence in that, uh, that COVID. It looks like it's spiking again because a lot of people are just going to big, huge group events, uh, you know, bowling and, you know, the beach, you know, just dinners. So be careful out there, okay? Uh, I don't want to... Uh, there's a couple of people that I know or that I've heard that, uh, you know, have passed away from COVID-19 and, we, you know, stay safe, bottom line. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.